that's right guys, a new solar panel for, for in here, for the workshop. So you might have seen my other video where I did the, um, the off-grid trailer, which is basically like a, a trailer um, which I used to kind of transport bikes and stuff and things, just general stuff um, with the solar panel on the top of there. Um, it's got a couple of lead acid batteries in, like sealed lead acid batteries, nothing fancy, um, charge controller and an inverter. Well, I wasn't really using that, so I've decided to take the inverter out of there and put it in here. So I've ended up getting this new panel, um, and it's basically a 200 watt panel, um, and yeah, I've already put it on the roof um, and, um, and run the wires in here. So yeah, I'll show you what's happening. So up here, is the is the panel on the roof um i haven't fastened it down properly yet it's just up here now this roof is pretty big so i could probably fit actually fit like another three of these on it eventually um if i wanted to do it but um no this is all good and then i've got the wiring just basically you know just going in there going in that hole so it's all sort of um not temporary but experimental just so i can get it right now I'm also checking out this um, new charge controller that I've got. I've actually hooked up with a supplier of all this solar stuff um, to basically test and then if it all kind of works out, I'll be having them on the website so you guys can, can check that out um, and then we'll, we'll start selling them. But for now, this is the setup. So wires come in here and I've just channeled them round all the way down here. They just go behind there. I know that running kind of really long cables isn't really a good idea because you get a bit of voltage drop, but, but I didn't really want to start drilling any more holes. It's got enough in it as, as it is. Right, so over here, this is just the lead acid battery that I, I just picked up just for um, just so I had a little bit of storage. Really, I want to eventually replace this with a, a kind of lithium battery, which I'm going to come on to in, in a minute. I'll show you. Um, so we've got a charger here, which is just just for top up charging. Before I got the panels set up, um, I was just had this charger here. Now I use this charger for, for other things as well. So it's just handy to have a charger that's mounted in a particular place that can be used for all manner of stuff. Um, thousand watt inverter. This is a really, really good bit of kit actually, this inverter. Um, it's good, really good quality. It doesn't make any horrible buzzing sounds. It doesn't you know, cause any issues with anything I've tried it on so far. Um, you know, it, it is a hunt, it is a thousand watts. It probably does trip a little bit sooner than a thousand watts, but I'm yet to work out if that's to do with the voltage drop on this battery, probably because these things are pretty crap. And then up here we've got the um, the charge controller. I got this because it's supposed to support um, lithium. You don't really get that much control um, with the, the exact voltage, but it's pretty good for um, lithium ferrite phosphate cells. You could use it with them with no problem, but you know, for 18650s or any other sort of lithium packs, you're probably gonna probably gonna struggle because you can't alter the exact voltage. Um, it's actually evening time now, so you know not really a lot's happening on the on the um, on the panel. Yeah, it's not really showing anything at the moment. Um, earlier on, it was actually showing you know about five or nearly five or six amps, like when the sun came out. I mean, it's the middle of winter, obviously, um, in the UK, so you're not going to expect too much. But that was that was pretty good actually. But it was definitely putting in more than was coming out. Um, and I've got this this inverter at the moment is actually plugged in to basically this power rail here, and this powers pretty much everything in here. Lights, um, all these just these LED lights. These ones are actually um, rigged up to the mains. But yeah, just generally kind of everything on here, all this stuff is all you know currently, apart from this light which is running off a battery. Um, currently, everything on here is actually being powered from the inverter right now. So that's kind of working that's been like this all day i've not really done this before just basically just gone about my whole day um just using power from the system over here so it's kind of a test for me as well but it's, it's working quite well um i'll show you at the moment i haven't got any meters rigged up so i have to use my trusty clamp amp clamp thing um so you can see on here coming out of the inverter right now um 3.2 amps so you know that's this is kind of like the idle current it does seem like a lot but i think you've got you know there's lights on i've got a router i've got um various other bits and pieces things charging um probably all this is a bit of a waste really um you know if you turn that off all of this goes off apart from that light um actually what is that light i need to work out if it's actually plugged into the grid i think that probably is um so then you come back down here uh and then so I put this on, bit more sensible, couple of amps. But obviously, 
you know, not much is going in at the moment. So um, this is a 115 amp hour battery. So it'd be interesting to see how much I actually get out of that. I haven't really got any way of measuring it at the moment. Uh, but some, some interesting bits are going to turn up um, over the next couple of days. So yeah, it's going to get quite good. But yeah, anyway, that's the start. That's, that's where I'm sort of going with it. Now, what I want to do, I want to replace that lead acid battery and I want to start getting into, um, you know, using lithium batteries, lithium ion batteries for storage. Now, I've actually got this pack here, which is an old um, e-bike pack. And this is a, currently, it's a 13S um, 3P. See the three parallel cells there. So these are 26650. Um, can't see it around there. They're 26650 size, bit bigger than the, um, the 18650s. And these are 5,000 milliamps each cell. So three of those across there, that's 15 amp hour block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this lot and I'm going to take it all apart and then I'm going to build this into a 4S. I was thinking about 3S, but um, I think I'm going to do 4S. So hopefully when I finish, this is going to end up being a 4S. 9p so um, 14 volts at um, uh, 45 amp hour so not a bad size pack but it also means it's going to be one pack i can then duplicate that and then just you know keep going i think it's probably going to be around 0.7 of a kilowatt hour um, pack so you know it's not a bad size you know if you have a few of these you're going to start up in the capacity but 45 amp hours isn't a bad place to, to start i'm not using I'm not using a lot of power in here at all. And with a 200 watt panel at the top, should be enough just to keep this sort of ticking over. Now and again, I'll come in here and I'll, I'll do some soldering and other bits and bobs and the, the power will obviously go up, but I shouldn't clip um, a thousand watts. Now, I have got this bad boy in it, which can't run on the system because it's just too much power. Um, I was thinking, do I just go the full hog and you know go make a four kilowatt system but you know it's going to take up a lot of space over there and actually if i do that it'll probably end up this this will end up being like a, a power station which i could charge the car from as well which is kind of cool but but we'll see we'll start with this and then yeah we'll, we'll go from there so the plan with this then is just to break these off as individuals and then i can parallel three banks and then do another four that way so now before i start messing around with that um there's one thing other thing that i'm, I'm thinking about is will this inverter run on 15 volts because well it's going to be more like 16.8 volts actually um, if you fully charge these these batteries now that might be an issue um, I think on paper it's saying the maximum voltage for the for that inverter is 15 volts so I mean I could partially charge this pack um, you know up to up to maybe you know four volts a cell um, yeah, it's, it's something I've got to think about. What I need to do is test the inverter on higher voltages before I, before I go down that route. The thing is, as well, is I might end up not being able to use this charge controller because um, this charge controller is actually, um, as I said at the beginning, you can't set a voltage on here. So it's got some preset programs on here. So if, if we just grab the instructions, it's got some preset programs on here, um, which does include lithium, but um, let's get into the get into the English version. So yeah, it does include lithium on here, but this is just the problem: 14 volts to 14.7. So that is that's too high for a 3s and too low for a 4s. Um, and this is this is why it's designed for. Um, lithium phosphate LIFE PO4 because they have a lower voltage um, so it, yeah it's a bit of a pain so coming tomorrow I've got a Victron charge controller which is looks really really cool actually I've had some Victron stuff before on the quad bike battery and it is it's, it's spot on so I've got um, a charge controller coming for that and that is that's got Bluetooth built in, which is quite sounds like a gimmick, but it's quite cool. As um, Howard Wallowitz said in in the Big Bang Theory, anything's better with Bluetooth on it. Um, but it allows you to change all the settings actually on the smartphone app, which is pretty good. And they even give you a demo smartphone app, so you can test all the settings before you even get the thing, which is even better. So I've tested that, and actually you can configure whatever voltage you like. You can custom make a profile for your particular battery, which is 
just brilliant. So one more thing to worry about if there wasn't enough um, is the inverter cutoff voltage. That inverter cuts off at 10.5 volts which again is a little bit low for a 4S and probably too high for a, for a 3S. Um, so, so I'm going to stick a BMS on, on the pack, the battery pack, 100 amp rated BMS, I don't think I'll be drawing more than 100 amps, certainly not on a 4S. On 3S, you know, at the inverter, put the inverter pulling from the battery is probably pulling about 90, 90 amps if you're going as high as, you know, one kilowatt, but... Um, you can actually see at the end where a bit of water's got in and these are a little bit rusty. I've checked this pack out, it's actually fine, it works perfectly. I was using this on the quad bike at one point. Um, until I got the, the other um, packs. So at this point you might be going, no, what are you doing? You're just ripping apart a perfectly good e-bike pack. Yeah, I know guys, but the thing is, I'd rather have this being used for something. I can't, I don't want to build another bike. I don't need another bike. Um, and yeah, I might as well just use this for something useful. All right guys, here we go then. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, banks because it was a 13s obviously of um one s 3p that one looks disgusting i need to clean that up so i'm gonna have to um i'm gonna have to just tidy this lot up um and just sort these tabs out and then i'm just going to solder them directly because they've been welded nicely and everything else i can just solder to those tabs quite easily also if we test these out these should all be the same voltage because it was it was nicely balanced before 3.59, 3 3.59, 3.55, 3.59, 3.59. 3 so yeah, they're all right, they're pretty much all the same. And um, so I can just get on with just, you know, making these nice. So this is them all roughly grouped out. So you've got basically four banks, one S, two S, three S, four S, and then each one of these is a 45 amp hour string so there you go right guys that's all i'm going to do for now um, i'm going to pick this up next time so i'll make this kind of a mini series um so like i don't know mini power wall for the workshop or shed mini power wall for the shed part one part two coming up soon catch you in a bit guys <laughs> <laughs>